everyone, I'm Henner Gracie and this is my brother Hidon. Today is a very special day. We're gonna analyze the first ever Omo Plata submission in UFC history, executed by Ben Saunders over Chris Heatherly. This is Gracie Breakdown. Very few fighters are very comfortable on their backs. And Ben Saunders is certainly one of them. After a nice first round takedown by Chris Heatherly, Saunders pulls guard and goes right to work. So he ends up in this situation here and right away starts climbing his legs up very high in a rubber guard format here, where the leg is up over the shoulder, almost to the point where Heatherly's shoulders were removed from the guard. So by doing this, his arms were essentially rendered useless in terms of striking and what he could do to Saunders in this situation. Saunders nearly got a triangle locked up here in this situation and has very tight control of the shoulders, but had trouble turning it into a submission for the first you know, short period of time. And then he swam this arm to the outside, and that's when Saunders really started to you know, threaten the submission, possibly an arm bar right here, triangles are coming closer, and then of course the eventual omoplata. The right arm of Chris Heatherly is sticking out. At this point, that's when Chris Heatherly realized the danger, and he pulled his arm out of the equation. His arm and his head slipped out. This takes incredible dexterity. Saunders kept the triangle that he already had right here and went right to work. He's gonna work for an omoplata here. Keeps the leg very tight. He sat straight up and did a great job scooting his hips out to the side to get the angle. This hand draped deeply over the hip. He sat up and he started going for the omoplata finish right here. The problem was Saunders was having difficulty finishing because this shoulder was off the mat and Heatherly kept his head position here for base, constantly tipping Saunders off balance here. And there was this battle of wrist control, a battle of a possible cross face right here, trying to get the optimal grip. But the omoplata has never been done in UFC history for a reason. For you to finagle your legs in this position and get enough balance and leverage to both hold your opponent and drive forward applying pressure is not an easy feat by any means. But what was so amazing is how Saunders was able to keep this position and not be tilted back the way so many people are. Normally this person wants to lean me off balance and throw me back down. If you just stay tense the whole time, try to sit up a little bit, just stay tense, this person's gonna essentially sit up. We call it spread the wings. So walk towards me a little bit here. They're gonna spread, look at my hands. Check the hip, check the ground, hip out slightly, spread the wings to sit up, move your hips back, inverse the leg, and then come all the way up and look to attack. I always say, at this point, this is the critical moment of truth in any omoplata. Because if he don't can keep tilting me back before I invert my leg, he can kind of essentially prevent me from ever getting the leverage, like lay me back down. He can always prevent me from getting leverage here. But, but Saunders is so effective at sitting up and inverting his leg so quickly, lean me back now. He can't because I have my base leg. And Saunders really put that back leg to use right here to give maximum balance, minimal tilt opportunity for Heatherly and to keep this top position, which is very draining on your shoulder. Like eventually, like, you know, it just sucks being here. And that's when he flattened out the shoulder. That's when Saunders was able to touch the knee down, really start to drive. Typically, 99% of people tap just from putting the hand on the ground and me leaning forward like this, it's over. Very rarely do we see this finish a fight, but he's got it wrapped up, puts tremendous pressure on the left shoulder of Chris Heatherly here. But it didn't work, so he did what any omoplata master would do. He brought his other hand in the equation and literally jacked this hand towards the mat. And you could see it in Heatherly's face, my friends. When this was happening, Heatherly was kind of quincing with his face there and how much he was expressing the pain, and he tapped out. The first omoplata in UFC history. You can see his eyes squinting hard. He is in pain. And Ben's pushed down. Ben Saunders, back in the UFC with conviction. For those who don't know, the term omoplata means shoulder blade or kind of scapula in Portuguese. And uh, it's a very funny name but based on the expressions on Heatherly's face, serious pain. Much respect, we'll see you in the next one.